Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouched. Last time we did Chevaria's story and a couple of its minor moons, this time we'll just be doing some more minor moons and trying to get this kingdom covered up. Um, we won't be getting the secret path today because it's, it's poss it is possible to get up there with a really precise jump, but we're just going to do it the intended way, so we'll do that later. Um, and yeah, we'll just be getting some stuff. Uh, you may notice I got one more purple coin. That's because while I was setting up to do this video, I accidentally fell down and touched that one there. So I'm just going to go grab it now again so you can see which one it was. <laughs> and grab the one that goes with it. There we go. As you can see, it auto saves, so you can't, you know, ungrab a purple coin unless you have a backup save, which I don't. I probably should, um, in case I mess something up, but I haven't been making backup saves, which might be a mistake. Um, anyway, so we're going to start doing some moons here today. Uh, there's a sub area over here I might visit. I don't really remember what's actually out here, so we'll see how we go. I believe every moon here should be possible. Uh, I don't think I've forgotten any, so we'll see how we go. Uh, this is using the rocket flowers. So, as usual with rocket flower challenges, uh, if we're good with our timing, oh no, and we don't do that, for example, we should be perfectly fine because collecting a rocket flower stops you from crouching. Oh, huh, that's interesting. I didn't know you could hang off a ledge while holding a rocket flower. Um, we're actually running over freezing water here, so... Um, if we stop running, we start to freeze. Thankfully, you don't take damage instantly, so... We have some time to recover. I'm playing badly today, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, for one of the moons here, we will need to spend some coins, which is a bit frustrating. We need to buy a certain outfit in order to get a moon. That requires yellow coins. So, the fact that we're losing them at quite a speedy rate is a bit frustrating. Oops. Yeah, if you mess up, you can actually keep doing this in order to... Oops. In order to do most of the area without actually using the rocket flowers. Uh, I'm not sure how much of it is doable that way. So this is basically just the regular challenge. I just keep messing it up is the only problem. There we go. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, to get this moon, you have to rocket flower run perfectly up that slope there. If you bonk against something, you lose your flowers. Uh, and so you can't make your way to the top. Uh, whereas this other moon here, all you have to do is get up. Ba yeah! Let's get up that first slope, which is much easier and has flowers on it. So you're very li unlikely to run out. Anyway, that area is done, without too much trouble. Uh, I couldn't actually remember which one that was. There's a couple of doors like this out here on the top area of Shavaria. Uh, I'm going to do the race next, I reckon. So the race is just over here. Uh, basically, you have to go from... I think basically where we're standing? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but where you have to go to is basically where the Odyssey is. Uh, but the blizzard comes back, so it's kind of hard to see where you're going, which is pretty much the main challenge. I'm going to grab those before I forget. Uh, we will be buying the outfit here, and we will be doing the outfit room here. Um, it is... The outfit room here is actually a 2D room, um, which I believe I would have thought was impossible, but it's not, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, so yeah, the race, basically all you want to do is capture one of the little cheap cheeps. I was going to say magic up, but that's not what it is. That one down there, circling around the, with the coins. 
and then you want to swim over and use the um, boost stake thing in the ground in order to... So you want to just capture this as quickly as possible. Uh, this isn't very good, what I'm doing here. And then swim your way over towards the Odyssey. Like this. And you're good. So yeah, that's pretty easy. Um, it does get harder in the in the B side, but we're doing that for a while, so nothing to worry about. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Oh, we won't be doing too many moons in this video. I'm trying to keep it kind of short. Uh, I forget what these notes involve. Let's find out. Oh, right, this one. Um, basically, yeah, you want to try... Then under normal circumstances, you're just running along there, but we can't do that, so... In order to do this quickly enough, we're gonna have a bit of trouble. Um, we might want to use the Cheap Cheap, in order to bounce a bit... Hmm... Cheap Cheaps on land aren't very useful, of course. I think the fact that we can throw Cappy is gonna be very important here. So yeah, normally this would be very easy, because you can... Uh, just... Walk most of the way. There we go. <sighs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Oh wow, that was that was intense actually. <laughs> Gosh. Um, I don't think we did the Lakitu one yet. Oh, Lakitu's over here somewhere. Oh, maybe we did it. I think we might have done it actually. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we did fishing in the glacier. Um, we already did that capless room. Uh, there's another one of these. Uh plant the seed to climb up into the clouds things. So we can do that. Um. Basically we want to take it over here, so we can take it. Take it up on the whatever this thing's called, and plant it here. And then we can go up into the clouds for another little cloudy coin moon adventure. Once it eventually hits the warp point. Oop. Rubber band slippage. Rubber band slippage. Look out for the rubber band slippage. There we go. Uh, yeah, that, that's just separate. Uh, as you can see, this is based around twirling, so there isn't too much uh, difficulty based on the... Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was really scary. Um, yeah, once you've started quick dropping, you're pretty much stuck doing it, so... Or band slipped again. Need to fix this up a bit. Uh, let's see, if we pull it onto here, and pull it onto there, that should stay put. Please stay put. Thankfully, the fact that we're holding the crouch button doesn't make us quick drop instantly. Uh, you have to actually press it again, like with a, it's like a ground palm, basically. Otherwise, this would be impossible. Um... Uh, I wanna start twirling again if I can. There we go! <laughs> and ascend! Okay, so there's a moon over here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> I actually stopped twirling afterwards, so fortunately they put another flower there or you'd have a bit of a problem.
Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And that's what we're gonna do up there. Both moons collected. Okay, experience breaking your legs. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, we can use the lower Typhoo, that one down there, to enter that room, so we might do that next. Again, I don't really remember what's in any of these rooms, so... Chiveri is one of the less memorable kingdoms. It's still really good, uh, it's just, it's kind of hard to remember where everything is up here, since it's just all very snow-covered. Um, the parts, like, down in the in the town are also a bit hard to remember, like, which one of the four rooms is which, that sort of thing. Anyway, now that we've opened up this door, we can go in here. Uh, gotta be careful here because of the ice. Uh, we slide very easily. Oh, right, uh, this is one of these puzzle rooms. This one, you just have to capture the Sea Typhoo. I believe it won't move, um, from that spot without being captured, so the only way to do it is to actually capture the Typhoo. Which is a little frustrating. Basically, you just want to put these two blocks onto those two spots there that you can see. Uh, it looks kind of... It looks kind of like we're playing Tetris, but we're really not. Uh... It's not hard at all. Um, the red block is locked into place once it got to the right spot. So we just have to warp it around a little bit and push the green block into place with a couple of gusts of wind. Uh, I can't hit the long way around there, but not a problem. The typhoon is a little slow, which is a little annoying, but they don't use very much. I think they're only in this kingdom, so it's not a big deal that they're a little annoying sometimes. Uh, you actually have to do that because this won't break open unless you do it. It's possible to climb up there, I'm sure, without putting both the pieces in. Uh, because of, you know, cap bounces and stuff. Uh, let me just see if... Yeah, see, you wouldn't need to put the green piece in unless you had to break open the crate. ba da ba Yeah! Um, I don't know if you could skip all the way to the top. Let's just have a quick look and see if that's possible. Yes, that's really annoying. Um... Yeah, I think it might be possible to climb all the way up there without moving the pieces, but no, you can't do that because it won't break open until you put all the pieces in place. Anyway, that room, that's all there is to do in there. Just the one moon. A uh, little boring compared to some of the others, which are more interesting. Uh, let me see. What else do we need to do up here? Uh, we did the bunny already. We already talked to Captain Toad. Did we go in here? Uh, this is this is just purple coins, if I recall correctly, but they're good to have. Yeah, a couple of purple coins. And we do need to get the outfit for this kingdom, as I mentioned, because we will be getting it some costume room done, among the other things we'll be doing. Uh, we already did that one. Uh, what else needs done? You already did the hint art for Shiveria. I think a lot of the stuff on the surface here might already be finished at this point. Uh, there is, over there, by the um, flag there, there is a trace walking challenge we can do. Uh, this is only the second one in the game, and it's, uh, I think it's probably one of the trickiest. Rather than being a circle, it's like a triangle, and you're on ice, so it's, it's, it's hard. Um, <laughs> Oh, uh, we already did that timer challenge. I think we've already done most of the stuff up here on the surface. Um, let me see, 28 out of 37. Yeah, that, that's, that's a decent amount of stuff. So yeah, this one is the trace walking challenge. Like the other trace walking challenges in the game, it has a couple of layers to it. Um, and there'll be a second version to do once we've opened the... Um, B-side, but for the moment, we just got to do one. So yeah, you can see this time it's a triangle, instead of being... Huh. As you can see, you don't slip on the ice while you're crawling. That might be really helpful, actually. <laughs> um... Actually, this is hilariously easy because of that. I, I didn't realise that's how it worked. I thought you still slipped. In 
until this now. <laughs> okay, so that should be like really close to a perfect score. Oh, not quite. Still good though. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Put my rubber band in the wrong spot. Yeah, it's slippery. It's, it's slippery for some reason. There we go, fixed. Goodbye, Cooper. So yeah, there's another moon to get there. We, I think you need 90 points. So if we'd been doing that one, we would have got it because we got more than 90 points. But we don't get it just yet because we weren't doing that one. We're doing the other one. Um, what else needs done out here? I think I think we're pretty much done outside. I'm going to go back into town and do the other ones. I think. Um, it's pretty easy just to like cap bounce your way over the water like that to avoid getting hurt. So... Generally, that's not too much of a concern, the fact that the water's freezing. Uh, head back to town. The only way to get in here is to break your legs, so... Oh yeah, legs broken. Mustache man. Ah uh, yeah, we did the hint up, we got those. Uh, so here's a Tostarina over here, talking about how cold it is. They should be used to it, because Tostarina was freezing for a really long time, because we couldn't do the story. <laughs> uh, we need to buy a few things here, so we're just going to duck in and have a look around. Uh, first up, we need to buy a power moon, of course. So we'll talk to this fellow here. I'd love to buy your power moon, thanks. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, that one's really easy, obviously. We also need to come over here to the purple shop to buy the snow outfit. The decades of ice levels. Finally, a good warm jacket. I love this game. <laughs> uh, we're going to be wearing this outfit, the snowsuit and hood. Um, we can't afford all of these souvenirs yet. We should be able to find all the purple coins. Uh, so we will be buying them all eventually. But for now, we have the nice warm, warm outfit, which means we can go do a 2D area with it, because that sort of makes sense. I think if we talk to this fellow, nothing but undies, yeah. So you have to wear another outfit to talk to that guy, and my rubber band is, is very slippery. Hang on. Rubber band, it is your solemn duty to allow us to play this game while permanently crouching. Do you accept this responsibility? I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, so you have to buy the um, the boxer shorts and talk to that guy while wearing them, and that gives you another move. Uh, we don't have the boxer shorts yet. Um, we'll go buy them once we've done this, because you need to be wearing this outfit to get into this room. Uh, and in this room, unlike some of the costumes, there is a real challenge in here. It is a 2D area, as you can see. Uh, so what we have are a bunch of moon shards, to collect while dodging these spinies on the ground. Uh, there is also a moon hidden, I think we might be able to just see it if we just look up. There. So yeah, you have to just jump up there, make your way across. I think we can probably do all of that while crouching. Uh, without using a cap to play mode, we'll see how we go. This might take a few tries. Um, as usual, it's tricky. There we go. Okay, it didn't take as many tries as I expected. Uh, you can slide underneath these while crouching, so that's something to be careful with. Basically what you want to do is get across to the one Cooper who's not a spiny, uh, all the way over here, and send him down there so that all the other ones get bopped. Because then they won't be in the way and we can get the last couple of shards without having to worry about dangerous uh, spiky friends. Okay, so we're making good, good progress here. Without too much trouble, we should be able to gather what we need. You, you slide very far here, because the ice physics do apply in a 2D section. 
Uh, so we can exploit the sliding momentum that you have as 2D Mario. See, even sliding backwards works, which it normally doesn't. Uh, okay, so basically, yeah, there's an invisible block just here, actually a couple, which we can use to climb up into this area. Uh, I think we are kind of facing the wrong way, but maybe we'll be alright. Well, maybe we should try to turn around. There we go. No! Okay, we may need to hover again to get across there. Which is disappointing. I did think we could get there without without hovering, but maybe we can't. I'll give it another try and see if I can build up a little bit more momentum here. Oops. <sighs> Again, you need to be, like, running at a decent pace, which is something we can't actually do in order to make it all the way across, I think. <sighs> yeah, I think we need to hover again for that one. Which is sad. Oh well. Um, let's go into two-player mode. I think just doing a cappy hover is enough this time, rather than having to do a cappy hover and then the other, other bit of boost to get across. As usual, when we switch modes, Mario will uncrouch, so we just have to repress the button. There we go. And as before, all we got to do is just make our way over here, and then do a cappy hover. Yeah, that. Okay, so we do need to jump across first, uh, but we can do that. Not a problem. Uh, it's a lot easier to slide off in this part because of the ice physics. Uh, normally, you have to jump real close to the edge in order to actually slide off and do the falling turnaround trick that I discovered. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so what we're going to do... Yeah! Some dexterity required to do that. <laughs> basically got to use two controllers at once. Anyway, uh, we've got the um, hidden moon here. If we just head back out now, we can grab the regular moon here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And we're just going to go back into one player mode now. And re-crouch. I don't know why it resets the state of the crouching when you reconnect your controller like that. It's an interesting behaviour. Anyway. Flip my Joy-Con back into place, there we go. And we're done in that room now. Uh, okay, what else needs done? Let me see here. I think we already did most things up here. Okay, we may actually do all the A-side moons in this video. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, this, this, uh, there's another hat and seek to do. So what we're going to do is head down to the race course. Uh, we were here before for the story, but some stuff will have shown up now that we've done the story that we can now check out. For example, there's a whole bunch of other spectators here now that we're not here before. Also, here's Cat Mario. We need we need coins, so I'm gonna just pop that. We do have enough to buy the box of shorts already, but I'd like to get some more coins. I think it's one of these guys that has a hat. Oh no, it's that one over there. So yeah, you just gotta talk to talk to the monitor. And ba da ba da ba da ba yeah. There we go. Um we actually need to do the race again for another power moon. Uh it's a slightly harder version, but this particular race is not too hard, so I'm not too worried. Uh we can also head over here, uh back to the waiting room. There won't be a Bonitor in there anymore. Not a Bonitor, a Shavarian. So we can't capture him, but there's some other stuff we can do. Uh, if we just make our way back up here. Oh, okay. I guess that hasn't, I guess that spawns once you open the moon rock. Um, a bunch of stuff just spawns in that room, including some stuff that you can get moons from. Uh, that's about the, all there is in here at the moment then. Uh, now, instead of having rings here to jump through, because we're Mario, we just get this line of coins instead. We can just roll our way down like that. And we get applause, which is kind of cute. Um, you may think, obviously there's a power mirror on top of the arch. There isn't. Um, 
we go up there, though, we can get some more coins by throwing our hat at one of these pillars. I think it, this one is the one that has several coins in it. Yeah. See? Uh, okay. How are we doing? 33. Okay, we're going to do the race next, just because we're right here. So what we're going to do, we capture this guy again, because this is the guy we raced as before. And we just talk to the race master again, and we can get a regular power moon for doing the race again. Um, I don't know why you get a multi moon for the easy version of the race and a power moon for the harder version of the race, but who am I to question the whims of big blobby seal friends? Anyway, yeah, it's basically the same as before, except the other races are a bit more competent this time. Uh, again, this is unchanged because the fact that crouching doesn't affect this in any way. In fact, you can't even uncapture during the race. Um, I believe it doesn't even do anything. I'm pressing the left. Uh, I'm pressing ZL right now, and it's only making like a disabled, but it's just not doing anything. As you can see, the other races are a bit more competent this time because we are having a bit of trouble. I think we'll be able to catch up, and we may take a second try. Let's see how we go. Yeah, going off, off the track is a really bad idea. You can slow completely, lose all of your momentum, and you don't want to do that. There we go. Okay, we just came first. Like, by, by a millisecond, basically. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, that gives us the power moon. Yeah! <laughs> and that's us done with that race. Uh, let's see. Uh, these people are giving us some tips on how to race well, which we don't need because we already did it. Uh, you can see here again, for some reason, the, uh, new donkers have weirdly few animation frames compared to the other characters. You can see this Tostarina in here is dancing away, and they look, like, really smooth, whereas these guys look kind of, kind of, um, jittery. It's, it's strange. Um... I guess there's, I assume there's a reason for it, but I don't know why they designed it that way. Uh, it's just a very strange thing. Whoa, hang on, there's coins here. I didn't actually know that. I have discovered a thing. <laughs> yeah, there's coins on this side too. Uh, didn't know that either, I just figured they'd probably be there. Okay, um, so we need to buy the underwear. And we need to remember a few... 35, and one, there should be one more thing. Oh no, wait. Yeah, that's right. The secret path, and what I'm going to do on the B side. And that's everything. So what we're going to do is go buy the undies and put them on. From the shop over here. I believe they cost 1,000 coins, which is a little annoying. Because uh, that's kind of pricey, and there's other things I want to buy. Uh, for example, this. But we need these for now. We should get more coins pretty soon, so we'll be okay. Okay, so yeah, you just got to wear the boxer shorts like this. Uh, you can wear them with any hat you want. I think this is probably one of the funniest ways because you're wearing this these warm um this warm um hood, but just underwear. Also, yeah, you can you can see Mario's nips there if you if you look closely. <laughs> okay, so yeah, when you dress like this, Mario is now he'd be shivering if he weren't crouching. Um because he's not wearing any clothes. We just talked to this guy while wearing this clothing. And we will get a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, and that's all the A-side moons we'll be doing in this video. Uh, there are two more moons that we will be getting. One in the next video and another one later on. Uh, the secret path we will be doing quite a bit later. I believe we don't get access to that until... Uh, a fairly late game kingdom. Uh, and we're doing them in order, so yeah, it'll take a while. Uh, I'm just gonna go cash in the moons we've gone, done so far. And that'll be the video. Uh, 
So yeah, we're, we're done the A side and it didn't take that long really. Uh, on the B side, there's a couple of things that are a bit tricky. You might take a few tries. Uh, but overall, it's not too hard. You want to be careful here. That um, Typhoon can just knock you off and then you have to climb all the way back up and it's just it's annoying. Uh, we nearly have enough moons to reach the final area, which is a bit exciting. Eight more. So in the next video, we should be unlocking that. We won't be going there just yet, but we will be unlocking it. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, for now, that's the end of this video. Next time, we will be opening that moon rock over there and doing all of the B-side moons in this kingdom. So look forward to that. Uh, but for now, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Wow. <laughs>